Hello my darlings, my name is Silva Dorkable, I'm your friendly monster waifu, and today we are going to be playing Undungeon Arena. Wanted to thank the developers for uh, providing me with a key so that I can essentially show you guys exactly how cool this is. Uh, let's see, profile, age unknown, void dimension, chthonic darkness, kind of like Cthulhu. Keeper of the Void Dimension, Bringer of Darkness, he is the incarnation of the dimension itself, so his powers are immense and mysterious. Ooh, sounds so incredibly interesting. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming that meant... okay. I thought that meant I was choosing a different selection, but I guess not. Strange, isn't it? From childhood, we have been told that the universe is endless. That there are millions of worlds out there, and that none of them can be reached. They said that they were thousands of light years away from us. But what if this is not the whole truth? What if we live in a multiverse where a thin membrane separates worlds from each other, and this membrane? is not as strong as it seems. Seven worlds, seven variations of Earth were instantly merged. Those few who survived called this cataclysm the Shift. Flying Eye, the creature addresses you telepathically, trying not to express any emotion, but you feel how anxiously you vibrates its essence. Greetings, hero. It is good that you are awake. Take this and follow me to the doors. Giant Eye throws you a communication device. Ooh. I'm kind of badass looking, aren't I? <gasps> Did you see it has like three little eyes? I think you may be confused still. So this is the room that I created especially for you. You can check if you become rusty and learn what and how to do. It's only basics, but it will adapt and show you more when you will be ready. Don't worry, it is safe. Only your consciousness will go there. Your body will stay here safely. Okay, okay. I can't... Or I just can't give you any tasks if you are unskilled and can't handle even such a simple test. So prove to me that you aren't worthless as road dust. Please. Alright. So. Goes around. Gonna go in. Everything's so quiet. Like, I think there's audio in the background, but I can't hear anything. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Pick up. Zooming. I can like set it down and when I'm ready for it I can come back and hit it okay oh shit Slapped him. Ah, oh, wait. Not rusty anymore? That's good. I like your confidence. Now we can finally begin what may need to be done. Better show you once and tell you a few times. Follow me. Oh, he's kind of cute. This is the door hall. Look around, choose a door you like, and unlock it with this key. 
My name is Viticus. I can be in several places at once. I can see different things through measurements. Through measurements. I will guide you. Behind the doors are the fragments of worlds and other dimensions. With this device, the communicator, we can all keep in touch. Good luck. May the power stay in you. Okay, that's some bullshit. I literally can't go to any door I like. I can only go to one door. I'm a little upset about that. Okay. <gasps> pumpkin. <gasps> no, I killed a pumpkin. What? Harold, I scanned this dimension and found that the mirror next to which we are standing contains a record of the entire dimension, including your core. Oh, I'm handsome. This means that in case of your premature death, the reality in which you died will be lost forever, and then the reality recorded in the mirror will be loaded. I don't know. I've never tried it, so you tell me after if you experienced it. Seriously, I don't know what it can lead to. At the very minimum, you will lose all your accumulated objects after the same point. I like that they still call it a save point. In the beginning I thought so too, but then I analyzed the mirror and found that it has a rewrite function, so most likely a mirror will still make new records easily, overwriting the old ones. So it's a save point. Just call it just call it a save point. Oh, you look friendly. Okay. Thought you were friendly, but I guess not. Greetings, challenger. You're entitled to some coins, catchers. Shaman grins and throws you a handful of coins. Arena is thirsty for blood, but before fighting, I recommend visiting local, local merchants and purchasing weapons and medicine. Uh, something to heal your wounds. Yes, I'm absolutely sure you will need it. Pay attention to the Noxes. A cool medicine, but it keep it will stop healing you if you take a blow after two ingestions. Think about it also you can use a rune for your damage. Okay, there's there's a lot happening right now and it's a lot for me to take on right away. Well, I don't know who Marduk is, so I don't know what any of this stuff does, but alright. Ready for the trials. Time to fight. Oh god! <laughs> See how this is. Can I pick that up? No? Can't pick it up? Okay. Getting leg and I don't like it.
All right, so I got coins. I seem to like it. Oh, I have my little friend now. Okay, this is actually kind of fun. Ow. So I can definitely see this being fun. It's kind of like a little arena battle system. Who are you? So what is your name? I can't pronounce that. Well, let's see if... Oh, visit the farmer. Okay. What's the farmer got? Ooh, a mask. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh, it's creepy. I like it. Okay, let's go. I am ready for the trials, trial master. Finish him. My thing just broke. I don't think I have any other weapons. No, I do not. 
That explains it. Oh! Come on. Oh shit. Fuck. This is hard. Pimp slap him to death. Screw you, buddy. Okay. Lesson learned. Get more than one weapon. I'm gonna hire this guy again. Alright, last one.
That hurts. I need to get rid of. Oh, what the fuck is that? go. Oh, is it still not over? I don't like that. Got this bastard again. Just ground pound the thing until it goes away. Oh god! Oh god, it's so big. Jeez. 
Okay, that, that actually does get pretty challenging. All the trials I hope now I will, will release us soon. Ew, I have like parasites, I think. Gross. There, much better. Oh! I can come back now. Yay! The next key. Viticus gives you the key to the door hall. I was cleaning up and found some old junk and was going to throw it away. Do you want to take a look? Yes, I do. Okay, well, I mean... So far, it's kind of fun. It's like a nice little... Consumables. Crafting. This is power of critical hits. All right, so that is the uh, Undungeon Arena. So we actually got through the entire first trial, and it is pretty fun. It does tend to chug just a little bit on my computer, but I think that might be partially because of the fact that I am trying to record and play the game simultaneously. But I do have a lot of fun with it. It's a nice little, like, mindless game that you can go beat things up. Um, but I actually, I actually would suggest it if you like games like that, that are little, uh, trial arenas and, uh, beat-em-ups. A lot of dialogue, a lot more than I was expecting with something like this. The character himself looks like a badass. I love him. He's got this whole, like, eldritch thing going on. Um, but aside from that, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to check out the game. I have a link in the description below, and I will see you on the next episode. Love you, darlings.